So Mr. Beast has been caught in 4K for faking his videos, as well as his poor treatment of creators. All thanks to a fellow content creator that was featured in one of his recent videos. And it really shows how content creators can go to any depths just to get the views. For such a monumentous creator to fake videos that all centre around money, it really asks quite a few questions. Why has he done it? What's going to come from all this? And just how much of his entire backlog is just a fabrication? There's a lot to go through here, so let's talk about it. So hello everyone, I'm Jake Baz. Welcome or welcome back. We cover the weird and wonderful on the internet. And today we're going to be talking about Mr. Yeast Infection, Mr. Beast. Because he's caught in a little bit of a kerfuffle. This all started when Rosanna Pancino, a massive content creator who has been on the platform for years, and also who, I might just add, is not usually involved in drama whatsoever, went on the Just Trish podcast with Trisha Paytas our good old friend, where in this podcast she decided to spill some tea. But not only spill some tea, also spill the entire teapot and stain the carpet. And following this, the fallout, the entire fallout is just insane. And I do really wonder how is Mr. Beast going to respond to all this. So before I show you this, if you do enjoy the video, please do hit a like and sub. I'd love to see you back. And I will be covering the entire calamity of this. So Rosanna has been in quite a few Mr. Turkey Breast videos before, but this drama is regarding one specific video, which is his million dollar hide and seek that was in 2021 and what does he do in this he tactically changes the result to fit his own agenda making it look like rosanna stunk up the place and didn't do well which in essence shows this entire video to be fake which i will obviously show you now also before i start just to mention mr beast he is an amazing creator his story is inspiring and i actually do generally really like the guy but when you obscure the truth for personal gain it seems like there's only one thing that's coming for you and that is just a touch of criticism. So she followed this podcast with a couple of incredible statements, as well as appearing on the HRE podcast, which I'm going to show you. But first, let me show you the inception of this. How, how did this all start? This is interesting. So you were on three of Mr. Beast's challenge, which is like, you're kind of that girl that gets involved <laughs> in all these shows. Like you were on Escape the Night twice. You're doing all these shows. Uh, and then when I got invited to do the third one, it was at the SoFi Stadium. So it was the first one in wow. person. And we did like a major hide and seek. It was over 24 hours. We were up for, I think I was up over 30 hours straight. I know she's not getting paid and it's for charity, but uh, from, from the sound of what she's saying, she didn't expect it to be that long. And why why would you have to work 24 hours in a row? Like, that is actually illegal, but let, let's not get into that. It's just a bit crazy that she was expected to show up for this entire thing. And as you'll see, it only gets worse. Nothing sounds more fun to me than spending 24 hours without a break. The thing that I didn't understand, and I'm still confused today, and it hurt my feelings, is like when Mr. Beast talks about these creator games and challenges, he said, you know, it's all in good fun. Like audience, don't take it too serious. Really? Because they, you weren't in it. They had me get eliminated like somewhere in the middle and I was really proud of myself and they edited me out somewhere in the middle when really I was top three. So she was top three in this entire thing and she has been manipulated by the editors to act like that she didn't finish top three. Which on the surface doesn't sound like much of a problem but it's the entire fact that why are you faking this content in the first place? There seems to be, unless there's some form of bias, like no reason to do anything like this at all. Okay, top three is Larry and um, Logan Paul and... Zach King, they weren't top three. I beat Logan Paul. What? And so it was so weird to see the video and they're like, oh, these three guys are top oh three. And I felt so like, what? What? So to me, potentially that does kind of show some form of bias. Like Logan Paul finishing above her. Uh, like back then, he he was he, he was Mr. Forrest back then actually. So he wasn't in good rep, but he was obviously this really notable creator that has been around for so long, and she has as well. But she's probably not as important to the Mr. Beast videos. Everyone knows Logan Paul, but not everyone knows Rosanna. Is all I'm saying. But to be placed in a place which is behind everyone else to be manipulated and cut out of half of the entire video when you have worked your ass off and been there the entire time it seems very dishonest to me and i don't know why mr beast has done this at all or his team has done this at all i don't really know who is in direction of this but obviously mr beast will watch every video back 
so surely he would have realized i do really think this entire thing started over literally the fact that oh well we can get more clicks off of this person staying in longer we'll get more engagement so let's do that and faking a video like this that revolves around money whether it's charity or not just to make it seem like you you've got a heads up on someone it's so wrong and i think rosanna is definitely in the right to be able to talk about this like it's been two years and she has contacted him before and not had anything back so it makes sense and it does highlight his mr beast videos as some sort of like weird concoction at every video fake it's every video gotta be like this and as you'll see later mr beast responses are very weird on this rosanna definitely didn't want to let this slide and i mean it makes sense and if you've said it once now you've got to say it the entire time now so it makes sense that she's come out with this but she has posted on twitter last night i've been allowing others to treat me poorly in private for many years and i'm fed up i'm going to start standing up for myself and finding my voice with the title of this photo being mr beast lied and edited me out the top three in creator games 3 so let me give you some bits of this when the video was released i was shocked disappointed and felt hurt mr beast had edited the video to make it look like i performed worse than i did this was extra upsetting because i genuinely believed him when he said that videos are authentic and real which that is the thing if mr beast has said one thing and then done the other he has just blatantly lied about it so obviously it's wrong and she should definitely bring him up on it and like i said it brings up this entire backlog of videos that he has at how many of them are fake she then goes to explain they would announce it at ears when someone has been found or had to move hiding spots while i was still hiding they announced that they have found logan paul i couldn't believe i outlasted him i'm a fierce competitor i had been counting the eliminations and i was currently fourth place just honestly i know i keep going on about the idea of being in a stadium 24 hours with an ear-piercing just waiting for people to get, get done. It, it, oh, that, that would do my head in. I don't think I'm built for a Mr. Beast video. But I mean, I guess it wouldn't matter because I'd be edited out anyway. I'm definitely no Logan Paul. I thought he'd place fourth. However, Larry had fallen asleep and hadn't moved in a long time. So he was disqualified. This meant I got third place. I placed first, Quackity placed second, and Zap placed first. This is exactly what happened. Despite Jimmy editing the only female out in the top three. I was proud of what I achieved. And I mean, I'm not going to debate the sexism part. I'm not going to uh, go out there and say that this is purely because she was a woman. I don't think that was. But I just can't understand how she has ended up being third place here. And she has been edited out for some way or another so that Logan Paul can fit into this. I honestly do think this has something to do with the fact of his massive stature. Uh, especially at the time he'd reinvented himself uh, to be a bigger loser that was getting more views. So it makes sense why the editors might want to keep him in. And you need to remember with these massive videos you've got like loads of different camera angles you've got loads of people recording so it can be very easy to be cut out and misplaced all to suit the uh, ultimate creator's uh, vision but as i'll show you shortly it seems that this was intentional and the fact that this happened in 2021 so what has mr beast done in the future videos which has been edited in this way to make creators look stupid or make people look stupid because yeah rosanna uh, she wants the attention that she deserves from this and although people are gonna bash her off as like a clout chaser just trying to get as much attention to herself as possible that is definitely not the case this really opens up the idea that mr v's videos are literally fake though this one has literally been edited to be fake so how many more and especially when he has already said to rosanna that these videos are authentic and real why would he go back on his word to make himself get someone bigger in the content creation space on like a virality level to be higher up than her uh the only woman as she says the entire situation just stinks so yeah before people go and call her a clout chaser just just think about the entire context around this. So also on the same day, she came out on H3's podcast and shed some light on the entire situation, just adding a little bit more context. I found out when it went public and he didn't have the decency to contact me privately and tell me, hey, just to let you know, to make the video more entertaining, we cut you out. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't give me a heads up. That's a massive thing for me because, yeah, it, this has happened, but she found out when the video was dropped. Not the fact that she was told before. It's kind of like, a, oh, you'll watch and you'll find out. And that, to me, is quite snarky and snide. It makes no sense for him to do this, really, at all. Like, what are you trying to prove by 
being silent on the fact that you've done this. Especially when Rosanna's such a likeable person. Maybe potentially they thought that because she is so likeable and she's so happy-go-lucky and she doesn't cause this drama, they might be able to get away with doing this. And that obviously is so many levels of wrong because you are choosing the fact that she is nice to act on morality. And what does that say about the team that you have around you? And what does that say about you, Jimmy, as a person? Why... Why would you do this and then not say anything about it? And just wait for her to wake up one day, watch your entire video and be appalled. Or be Logan appalled, sorry, sorry, sorry. He recorded voiceover and he said a blatant lie. So the voiceover in the video at the very end part says, I found Logan Paul literally one minute before Zach King. Mm. Oh, so he's... Wait, yeah. so he's that trying is, to even make it sound like he did that, second that place. That didn't even... No, that, that never oh, happened. Uh, Logan Paul was like found a... while I was hiding um, hours. Dude, that's so lame. Found hours before yeah. that There's came. literally no so reason for him to do that. That is intentional. That's not a oopsies. That was intentional. And that's the entire point. It's clearly intentionally edited to be this way to fit the narrative. He's literally just found Logan Paul when she already knows that Logan Paul has been found through the earpiece. So... It's definitely fake. And the idea that she's even somewhat grandstanding, she's not at all. This is just like, it, it's so wrong in the creator industry. If you're saying that everything is authentic and real for it to not be, well, that, that puts your, not only your content into question, but your entire character. You are essentially a liar. And with something like this, this thing that's for charity and for a good cause and it's enjoyable for everyone, why would you, wh what is the need to even lie? You still got to get good retention and engagement. It's a big long video with loads of multiple camera angles, but like, wh what is the point? There's just no need for this. It's it's so wrong. And furthering this, this is only bolstered by the text messages that went between Rosanna and Mr. Beast at the time, which were also shown on the Hate Tree podcast, but also posted on Twitter by herself. You can definitely see the distaste in her mouth around this entire thing. And Mr. Beast is being very odd with it. I will just note that exposing messages of private messages, that that's not really... It's not really in the rule book for influencers. You shouldn't be doing that. Especially when it's from just yesterday. There is... Uh, it's, it's just wrong, but... I mean, she's exposed them now, so I'm gonna have to show her. So Mr. Beast actually DMs her first. What's your phone number? I'd love to call and see and figure out what has happened. With that, Rosanna explains the situation and Mr. Beast then responds with, obviously I wasn't trying to make you look bad. Just give me a time and we'll talk about it. Obviously he doesn't want this leaking because, well, it's happened. She then asks, why would you lie? Why would you say this in the video? I outlasted Logan and I was proud of what I have accomplished. I don't know, been a while. Let's call and figure it out. To me, Mr. Beast here just seems like he's trying to be happy go lucky and that's not the kind of situation you need to be in you've just been exposed for faking content that is authentic and real and to kind of pitter patter around the entire situation and bash it off that is so wrong to me but at the same time rosanna could have taken the phone call she then says i'll give you some time to look into it and remember and then we can discuss i'm more than happy to review all the footage to help show the timeline of events feel free to send them over to my team let me know and quite frankly she will never get that footage she she, <laughs> she won't get that footage that has been wiped off the face of the hard drive but the I, I don't know it's been a while like just don't bat it off don't don't act like this is something that isn't big you, you have entirely faked a video and it suggests you've done this with multiple other videos and you've just tried to bat it away and that's wrong like he says i don't want to make you look bad but by coming out now uh, rosanna she is going to get a lot of hate for this because Mr. Beast is such a loved creator on the platform. So I really do think that this is a big, big thing. I think a lot of creators need to talk about it, especially with these texts that you see. It does seem that he's trying to bat around the bush, essentially. Just call me, get this get this off any platform so I can't be exposed in the future. And obviously that's turned wrong. Just all the explanation marks of like, oh, I'd love to call. I'd love to call and see and figure out what happened. Ultimately, Mr. Beast is at the top of this tree for this entire content creation process. He will watch every video like he says he does. Uh, oh, maybe he doesn't actually watch all these videos. Obviously, with the authentic and real, paints him as a liar. So 
What can we actually trust with him around this? In my opinion, I find it wrong for Mr. Beast to fake this video full stop. They're not really going to gain anything apart from increased engagement around this, potentially. And also, knocking off the only woman creator that came on podiums is obviously very bad. I don't know about you, but for me, I've always thought that Mr. Beast videos, while extravagant as they get, they are always real and authentic. That is definitely something that I would say about them. So for this entire thing to blow up and show that that's not the case for this one specific video, that means that the entire backlog is in question. How many times has he done this with other creators or other people or on his philanthropy videos? How many times has someone been snidely cut out of a video just to suit the narrative? And ultimately, why does Mr. Beast do this in the first place? I really think he needs to come out with a statement that will bash either bash off these claims or try and explain why this happened. We need specific reasonings why because like she says um, multiple times about her being a woman, it it does kind of look like that. I'm sure there's definitely going to be more stuff that comes out in the coming days considering this is just blown up overnight and I'm very interested to see where this goes. But my ultimate opinion about Mr. Beast has definitely changed after this. But I want to know what you think. What do you think about this entire situation? Am I wrong? Is Mr. Beast right all along? Is Rosanna just trying to get clout? Which I don't think she is. Please do let me know. But I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'd love to see you back. And I will see you in the next one. So yeah, take care.